You can't call yourself a real network engineer if you're not using these tools. Whether you're designing labs, troubleshooting packets, or even documenting configs, these seven tools will make your life 10 times easier. If you're serious about mastering networking, whether you are a student in your CCNA or someone managing a network infrastructure, Having the right tools can completely change how you test, learn, and deliver results. Today, I'll show you the essential toolkit that every network engineer should have. These tools I've been using for over a decade now, and I can tell you that without them, I wouldn't be the network engineer that I am right now. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first tool is VMware Workstation Pro. Essentially, this allows you to have multiple VMs, multiple computers, virtual computers running inside your physical computer. And not only computers or VMs, but you can also deploy things like routers, firewalls, switches, load balancers, anything that can be virtualized, you can run directly on VMware Workstation Pro. And the best of it, it's free to use. The second tool you should have is a network simulator and a network emulator. And I'm talking about things like Cisco Packet Tracer, GNS3, even G, and even PNET Lab. As you can see right now, I'm running Cisco Packet Tracer inside a VM deployed on the VMware Workstation. And I also have PNET Lab and even G. Now, if you're a beginner, I recommend that you start with Cisco Packet Tracer because you have all the tools available in one software. Third tool that you should use is Wireshark. Wireshark is a software used to capture packets on the network very helpful to troubleshoot problems but not only that it's going to help you learn how things really work let's suppose you want to understand how dhcp works and you know that there is a server that is going to provide the ip address and you have the client that is requesting the ip address what are the packets the message that are being exchanged between uh the server and the clients and you get to see all of that happening in real time and let me just show you real quick what you might see when you're running uh, uh, Wireshark. And you can see right now is listening to all the traffic that is passing on this specific interface. And then you can filter by source IP address, by protocol, by application. Just a lot that you can dig in just with this single tool. Fourth tool that you should know how to use is an IP subnet calculator. And this is very useful for cases where you're probably doing an assessment and you need to know, okay, what are uh, the IP address assigned to those devices? What are the network addresses? What are the broadcast addresses? And even if you're troubleshooting something and if you're not sure whether is it really uh, the real IP address, so using an IP subnet calculator is going to help you identify real quick. Like for instance, I, I typed the IP address 192.168.43.13 and it's telling me, look, based on this information, this is the subnet, the network address. This is the range of usable IP addresses. This is the broadcast address, the total number of hosts. So it's uh, easier to come up with these numbers if you were to do it by yourself. Now, you probably heard that network engineers should know how to do this subnetting on top of their head. That's true, but in a production environment, uh, we're not going to waste time like trying to come up with those numbers uh, just because we can. There are a lot of things happening and sometimes when you're troubleshooting, you want to get this information as soon as possible. So using a calculator is way faster than most of us would probably be able to do uh, using a piece of paper. Fifth tool that every network engineer should use is Draw.io. Draw.io allows you to create network diagrams, whether you plan to use it on your browser or directly on your computer. I mean, you can create just like any type of diagrams, exports, uh, import diagrams. And I even did a quick test run here. So you can type nowadays with AI, you can say, okay, the type of diagram you want to create. So this is just something that it's way easier to use in comparison to other softwares out there. Essentially, every network engineer should know how to design a network topology. So Draw.io is an excellent tool for that case. Notepad++ is the tool that I often use whenever I need to deploy multiple configs to multiple devices and I just have to make small changes between them like the host name or the last audit of the IP address. Not only that, I can also use it to write code like Python, HTML, PHP because it supports different formats. And it's also very helpful because I can open multiple uh, instances or multiple tabs 
and I don't have to save uh, the document or the thing I'm writing is going to save on cache. And even if I power off the computer, I will still have that thing that I was writing without saving the document. So it's a time saving. The last tool that I use, and I believe that every network engineer should use as well, is Obsidian. Obsidian is a tool that I use to take notes, but just in a different level. So let's suppose that these are the different notes that I have, but right now you can't read them, right? Just small dots and a couple of lines there. But if we zoom in a little bit, now things start to become clear, right? Now you can read them. So you have, for instance, uh, different nodes here and how they are connected. Like Nmap is connected to basic pen testing, blog, bad byte, John the Reaper. And uh, this is just so powerful in a way to know, okay, whatever I'm studying or whatever I'm reading, how this is connected with something else. And this is something that I don't get uh, using like Microsoft Word or uh, LibreOffice, okay? And if I click on this dot, it's going to take me directly to this node. And because Obsidian use a markdown format, uh, you're able to add not only text, but also links and even images. So you can add print screens uh, if you want, or you can write uh, by yourself. Now, if you don't want to, uh, use this view. You can also look here on the side. You have different folders. So, for instance, we go to technology, uh, cybersecurity, so different attacks, uh, or scenes. So, let's see, Fortinet, Fortinet Manager. So, you can see that you have different hierarchies between the folders, which make it very easy to study. Okay, these are the seven tools that I use, and I believe that every network engineer should use them as well. Now, if there is a tool that you think it's also helpful, not only for network engineers, but for those who work in IT in general, please write a suggestion in the comment section and probably we're going to take a look and make a review about it. So if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.